this is an IGCSE GCSE quick fire questions and it's a physics video. This means that I'm going to be picking random topics throughout the physics specification. I'm going to ask you questions. You want to pause the video, write down your perfect answer and then listen for my version of the perfect answer. And hopefully you'll find this a really useful revision tool. We're going to start with question one, which is all to do with momentum. So a railway truck with a mass of 5,000 kilograms rolling at three meters per second collides with a stationary truck of mass 10,000 kilograms. The trucks join together. At what speed do they move after the collision? Because we're looking at momentum, we're going to need the equation. Momentum equals mass times velocity. As with all these momentum questions, first of all, start by saying that momentum is conserved, which is that momentum before equals momentum after. So what's going on before, therefore? Well, we need to take the momentum of the railway truck to begin with, and we know that momentum is calculated by doing mass times velocity. So that's simply 5,000 times three. And then we want to add it to the stationary truck's momentum. Now we'll notice that its mass is 10,000 kilograms. Because it's stationary, it means that its initial speed will be zero. The momentum after, well, crucially, the trucks are joined together. So we need to combine their masses and then times them by their common speed, which is what we're after. Now you're ready to sort out the equation. 5,000 times three is 15,000. 10,000 times zero just disappears. 10,000 plus 5,000 is 15,000. In order to get x by itself, you want to divide both sides by 15,000, and therefore x is one meters per second. Which of the following is not a vector quantity? Remember a vector quantity is something which has both magnitude and direction. You really just need to learn the list of things which are vector quantities and then learn that everything else is scalar. So crucially, force is a vector quantity, displacement is a vector quantity, as is velocity. The odd one out here is area. Three, calculate the energy transferred by a 60 watt bulb that is turned on for five minutes. So you want to use the formula triangle we play tennis, where W stands for work done or energy, power and time. Cover over the value you're after, which is the energy. So we can see that work done or energy is power times time. Our power is 60 watts. Our time is five minutes, but be careful, it needs to be converted to seconds. So multiply by 60. So your final answer is 18,000 joules. Question four, define alternating current. This is a current which continuously changes direction. In question five, we're being asked to draw a thermistor. Remember, this is what I describe as being the hockey stick component. So it looks like this. Remember that a thermistor is a temperature dependent resistor. Six, define transverse wave. A transverse wave is one where vibrations occur at right angles or perpendicular to the direction in which the wave is traveling. The refractive index for type of glass is 1.45. Calculate the critical angle. So you need this equation, sine c equals 1 over n. n stands for our refractive index, which is given as being 1.45. Do 1 divided by 1.45 to get this annoyingly long number. And then you just need to do inverse sine. So effectively, sine to the minus 1 of that number. Make sure you use scientific calculator here and you'll get an answer which is 43.6 degrees. A girl stands 100 meters from a tall building clapping her hands each time she hears an echo of her clap. It takes 11.7 seconds for her to hear 20 echoes. Calculate the speed of sound. First of all identify which formula triangle you need which is dusty. D stands for distance, S stands for speed, is time. We're being asked to find the speed of sound. 
which means that we need to do distance divided by time in order to do that. I'm just going to do a quick diagram to show you what's going on to make sure you understand. So here's our building and we know the girl is standing 100 metres away from it. So she claps her hands so that sound is going to go to the building and because it's an echo it means it's got to travel back. So if you think about the distance travelled, yes it's 100 metres but because it has to travel there and back we have to multiply that by 2 and then we know that she hears 20 echoes so that's why we have to multiply it by 20. Then we divide it by the time which is nice and straightforward because we know that it takes her 11.7 seconds to hear all of those things. Pop that into your calculator and you get a value which is 342 metres per second. And just check that your answer is realistic. Explain how a polystyrene cup with lid helps to keep a coffee hot. Now with all these questions you need to work out how the processes or energy transfers of convection, conduction and radiation are being affected. Don't write some vague answer about trapping heat, that's not going to get you the marks. So first of all, you want to state that polystyrene is a good insulator. It helps prevent heat losses by conduction. Now let's focus on the lid. The lid traps air. Air is an insulator. The second thing that the lid does is it prevents convection currents being set up over the top of the hot coffee. If you have reduced convection, then you're going to prevent heat loss this way. So that's why the lid is so important. Question 10, list three types of renewable energy. So many to pick from here, geothermal, hydroelectric, wind power, solar power, biomass, wave power, tidal power. Remember if they ask you about the disadvantages of these different types of renewable energy, really most of them are the fact that they are unreliable. The exception being obviously hydroelectric, geothermal and biomass. As long as you have enough trees to burn, you can produce energy via biomass. Geothermal energy, remember, is where there's cracks in the Earth's crust. And hydroelectric is all to do with water being dammed and then falling down through the turbines, which is why that tends to be quite a reliable source of energy.